Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Samsung MK10. And if you're a beginner YouTuber like me, stick around if you want to find out more about this budget-friendly microphone stand. Hello, I'm Mr. Vey. Thanks for dropping by. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can use the timestamp at the bottom to skip to my review. Otherwise, let's start off with an unboxing. So I'm a beginner YouTuber looking for quality gear, but with COVID-19 measures possibly ramping up again for another six months, it's not exactly the best time to be splurging out. I found a Samsung MK10 microphone stand on Amazon UK for just £17.50 and it took two days to arrive on Prime Delivery. The product box was a bit of a surprise and quite frankly I'm disappointed. It's a little beat up and the bottom of the box had already fallen through. There was no additional padding or wrapping inside the box to protect the stand. Overall it felt like I had received a second hand product and I don't mind second hand products but when I pay full price for something I don't expect to get second hand stock instead. It could just come down to budget packaging from Samsung themselves and given the price I'll let this slide. Here are some bangs and scrapes and some rust on the inside of the steel, either due to poor quality control, poor packaging or again, the possibility that I received a second hand product. I'm using a microphone stand with the Blue Yeti and it works fine but it's definitely not a set and forget scenario. You do have to make sure that it's sturdy and safe, um, especially if you're going for a sideways situation like this. If you're going for a vertical setup, you'll probably be absolutely fine. The frame is quite heavy and made of steel, whilst all the knobs and turnings are made of plastic. It comes with a microphone clip for other kinds of mics, and also a handy wire clip to keep things tidy. Though I do have to mention that this wire clip is very tight, and takes a lot of force to pry it open. The Samsung MK10 feels thick but not very solid or tight. So whilst it's sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's the best quality. I feel like it's good value, and for me, it worked right out of the box with everything I needed to get it up and running with the Blue Yeti. If you're going for a horizontal setup like me, and your microphone is heavy, um, you do have to be conscious of um, how you're setting it up if you're worried about it tipping over during recording. Overall, I recommend the Samsung MK10 for anyone on a budget. For £20, it's good and it's fit for purpose. The product link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this.